invoice fraud is, is a huge problem for, for UK businesses today and, and, and global business as well. But in the UK, our research actually shown um, that invoice fraud is costing UK businesses £9 billion pounds a year, um, which is on average about £1,600 per business. One of the ways in which criminals um, go about invoice fraud is actually to um, change bank details on an invoice. So they might uh, get hold of an invoice that is perfectly correct and um, has been an honest, honestly created invoice and they might just change um, bank details to ones of their own in order to actually collect the money due on that invoice. That's something that um, is quite difficult to manage in a paper process because um, you've got invoices, you know, perhaps hundreds, maybe thousands coming in per month and how do you check absolutely every content that is on that invoice. We have to remember that fraud is all about dishonesty, being disingenuous, not having integrity um, and therefore they will do uh, whatever they can to uh, get into that process and get money where, where they think they want it. One of the things that I've noticed or that I see is um, people really underestimate the impact of invoice fraud. Financial crime and, and this, this element uh, is often connected to uh, financial services. Um, you know, you've got a, in a financial services industry, you have a very regulated um, and, and lots of legislation around what you should and shouldn't do. However, financial crime and invoice fraud actually affects every single business in the UK um, and every single, every single business globally. So I do think that it's largely underestimated, but I do think also um, that it's easily combated through a series of uh, set processes within your organisation, checks and balances, and also training. I think training is, is largely underestimated, um, but if you have a, uh, an employee, a set of employees that really understand what these risks are and how to identify them, that's certainly going to, to help support your business from combating fraud as a whole. So when we're talking about responsibilities um, in terms of internally, who is responsible for identifying that an invoice is fraudulent, typically we would go to our finance team. Um, but I truly believe that just focusing on uh, one area or one team or one function is, is definitely the wrong way um, to think about this. Invoice fraud can come into every single part of your business. So one of the ways in which businesses can combat invoice fraud is to use a technical solution for invoicing. This is otherwise known obviously as electronic invoicing or e-invoicing. And e-invoicing in its purest form is when a supplier sends invoice data, whether that be through an online portal or through direct integration to the supplier's environment, to a service provider. Um, and that service provider does some wonderful things with that invoice data, issues an invoice and sends it to the customer. Now, when I say wonderful things, what I mean by that and why it's important for invoice fraud is the service provider, to a certain extent, takes on some of the responsibility of checking that invoice against fraudulent data. So what that can mean is, for example, a service provider will check the um, supplier's VAT number. They'll check the supplier's address. So it's these kinds of checks that you would otherwise have to do at the, at the end of the invoicing process, once you've actually received an invoice that's been created by a paper, that you don't have to do in the electronic process as much because the service provider takes on some of those responsibilities. Today, I think we will always be receiving a mixture of probably electronic and paper. And as a part of that, we need to be on our guard. We need to be um, checking those invoices and making sure they're not fraudulent. And at the end of the day, getting paid for those invoices.